Ocean Runner here. I'm here with my friend Susan from the Atlantic Grill, and we were out running a couple of weeks ago, and she found a jelly blob, and we weren't sure what it was, so I brought a picture to Anna at the Seaco Science Center, and she told us that it was a cone jelly, which was very, very cool, but I was curious, what's the difference between a cone jelly and a moon jelly? Ah, it just so happens here at the Atlantic Grill, we have a jellyfish tank. Let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, awesome, cool. Rob, I was running on the beach the other day and found those really small cone jelly, which was kind of cool. Yeah. And I thought, I wonder what the difference is between that and what we have here in the tank. Uh, so the cone jelly, um, one of the biggest uh, differences is like the size. So the moon jellyfish, so in this tank, um, we have some moon jellies in here. These ones get uh, much larger than the cone jellies. The cone jellies get about the, like, the size of a walnut or so, so kind of small. And these ones can get um, like 14 inches across, so almost like the size of a dinner plate. Oh, wow. Can you find these in the Gulf of Maine? Yep. Uh, so uh, the moon jellyfish, you can find in the Gulf of Maine, as well um, with the, um, the comb jellies, like you, the one that you saw. Also lion's mane, some sea nettles, um, some different types. There's about a half a dozen uh, so that we can find in the Gulf of Maine. Do these stink? Uh, these, uh, the moon jellyfish don't really sting, at least humans, um, unless you have like really sensitive skin, but they do sting their prey, which would be uh, like small shrimp, uh, any uh, sort of plankton, uh, anything like that. Um, but if you look really closely, you can see all the little um, stinging cells, all those little tentacles that are around the outside of their body, and that's what they use to uh, capture their prey and to sting their prey too. Yeah, so how, how do they eat? Where's their mouth? Um, so their mouth is actually in the middle. So how they eat is they collect the food kind of around the outside of their body and all of, of, of those stinging cells. Okay. And then they transfer it to those arms that are on the bottom. And those arms actually collect all the food and they transfer it up into the mouth, which is right in the middle of all those arms that are down, kind of hanging down below. Oh, wow. That's yeah. very cool. Yeah. How long do they live? Um, the moon jellyfish, um, usually in the wild, they live about a half a year or so. Um, but in captivity, like in this tank, they can live up to a year to a year and a half. Wow, these are very cool creatures. If you want to see these jellyfish, they are at Atlantic Grill in Rhine, New Hampshire. And they happen to be just two miles down the road from the Seacoast Science Center. And that's where Susan and I are headed now. Gotta run!